Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are doing a sketchbook tour. Yeah. <laughs> so this sketchbook has been from September to December of 2022. It's been only a couple months. And this is also the same sketchbook that I started on this channel a couple months ago. <laughs> so let's get started. As you can see, I went with a little unicorn theme. I don't know if I'm going to paint the cover of them in the future. Just because I did have the urge to put stickers on my sketchbook. But I didn't want to ruin my art stuff, so I ended up putting the stickers inside, which kind of makes me sad now. And then this was my welcome page. Um, also, a quick disclaimer, um, the beginning of this sketchbook is not very good. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I've been trying to work on and improve my skills in, and the first part of this, for the beginning of this sketchbook, it's just not very good. <laughs> this is, I didn't even like it when I made it. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to do some sort of, like, Inktober piece and it didn't turn out very good and then I didn't end up doing any art challenge for December I mean for October so and then this was when I tried doing like a little collage type thing with some paper that I painted on I really love how this one turned out and then this was my Claude Monet uh, what is it called? Claude Monet Master Study of the Water Lilies. Um, this is my first and last Master Study. You will notice that it looks like garbage and that's because after I finished this painting I spilled all of my paint water on my sketchbook. And I used gouache so kind of ruined it. I didn't feel like fixing it because I'd already spent like, I think, five something hours. I don't know. Um, this was, I was trying to plan out an illustration portfolio, but I never got around to doing that. And then this was just here to fill the page. Um, practicing drawing horses and some stuff that I drew about the things that I did on Wednesday, August 14th. And then this was from a picture on Pinterest. Um, I really like how this turned out considering I don't do a whole lot of building drawings or landscape illustrations of or, or anything of that kind. So I was really happy with this one. I really liked this drawing of the girl and I liked the dog but I didn't really like anything that I did up here. The proportions were kind of wonky. Um, and then this was um, in September. I was playing around with gouache and watercolors. Um, this was during the Study September challenge, um, and so was the, this painting was also done during Study September, which if you didn't know, was an art challenge started by Kelsey Rodriguez. I'll have her stuff linked in the description. Um, with these, so, I don't remember what I was doing with this one, or this one. Um, I don't like this one because the proportions of her head are really weird. I really liked this one um, because it gave me a good idea of the direction that I wanted to push my style towards. Um, especially with like the facial features. I really liked how all of that came out. This one I had a love-hate relationship with. It was supposed to be like some sort of... It was supposed to be based on the theme of reflection. But it doesn't really look like that. Um, this was based off a Pinterest photo. It was just a watercolor painting. 
I have not used watercolors in a very long time, so I just wanted to try it out real quick. Um, I should I should use watercolors again. This was also watercolors down here with the pumpkins. So this is when I was planning on doing Shroomtober, but I was burnt out for October. You'll see a lot of me planning to do different art challenges for the month of October, but I don't get to any of them because I got severely burnt out since I was uploading daily back in September. Um, like I was making videos every single day in September, so by the time October came around I was too burnt out. Um, and this was thumbnailing from um, other YouTubers. This was like trying to find a different um, shots that I could film. So that was what that was for. Um, and this was watercolors and gouache. I was trying to do like um, a value scale, the color wheel, um, and then just practice my skills with them a little bit. Oh, this was acrylic ink. Okay. Oh wait, no, this this side was supposed to be acrylic ink, and then I just gave up on it, and then all of the stuff that's actually painted was done with watercolors. Um, this is, again, me planning to do an October art challenge that I never actually got to. This one on the left was for Inktivity, and the one on the right was me planning to do Peachtober, and I never ended up doing either of them. And then this was me sketching out the first prompts of, I don't even know which ones. I sketched in pen. None of them are good, but they were, it was just coming up with ideas. So I wasn't really too worried about it because I was going to just paint over it. So this was actually going to be a video, but I used this awful pen that I hate. <laughs> I don't know why I still have it. I, I still have it even now. But I have this pen and it doesn't dry for like, I want to say like 20 minutes. And I smudged it all over the page and I was just super frustrated and I just deleted the footage and moved on. And this was me planning to do Geltober, which I still never did. Some random sketches. Um, this was me. So I've had this idea for a while, and I still haven't come up with a good concept for it. Where I do like a tiger with a person. Um, I've still been playing around with this idea, but I still haven't nailed a good composition for it. So I've been struggling with it a little bit, um, and I got tired of working on the thumbnails. So I just started drawing some horses at the bottom. Um, I think that these top three are portrait studies, if you can call them that, from Pinterest, and then I just started doodling on the bottom. Um, this was scribbling. Um, this is all of the stuff that I was drawing about my day for October 13th. I did draw all of this directly in pen, so the proportions of people and animals on this page is not accurate at all, but it's there. Um, just scribbling. So this, this was the first, like, super vivid dream that I've ever had about the location of the dream, and so I just scribbled it out real quick. Um, I think I might make, like, a mini comic about it for next year because it had um, like themes of like Halloween and Christmas in them. So I was thinking about doing like a little animation or comic project next year for that. Um, just and also like I thought it was really cool. I like even remembered like the colors of everything in my dream too. It was wild. So this is the page that I did for Halloween or like Halloween themed art. I don't really do much else because, like I said before, I was super burned out in October, so this was all that I really got to. And this was all done in gouache on this left page. And I, on this right page, I was drawing tigers. I drew these first two on the top, and I really liked how they turned out, and then I drew this one on the bottom, and I do not like the one that 
happened on the bottom. But I wanted to put this one down here to fill up the page. But it didn't end up being any good. <laughs> so. And on this page we have my um, Kiki's Delivery Service paintings. I actually have a three video series on my channel that you can go watch if you are interested in watching the process of these videos. Um, I painted this same scene right here a couple months ago and it was just, it was bad. It did not look like Kiki, it did not look like I was trying to copy a scene from Kiki's delivery service and so I felt like I needed to kind of redeem myself. Um, and this is when I started planning for my art booth, um, the first art booth, and then I, in the top left is Patreon planning stuff. Um, I'm planning on opening a Patreon, so that's why there's notes about it. Oh, this was super cool. I got a label printer. It's like a thermal label, label printer, and it was super fun to mess around with it and use it for all kinds of stuff. And then on the right here, I did some portraits, but it's, I, I was planning on doing regular portraits and then it ended up being clown portraits. And then I just ended up drawing like little characters in the empty spaces. Um, it was fun to do. I still really like this page. Yeah. <laughs> Um, on this page I was doodling because I just wasn't feeling up to doing like finished art and this was also like a big pivotal point for me coming up with some art style stuff so and I'm thinking that this siren person like this per character that I kept drawing might become a character because I really liked drawing her and it was super fun to draw her in different poses and draw her looking super menacing. This page on the left here was me using that same ink pen that I hate and just doing a spread, well, page of just doodling. Um, I was not, I think I was feeling a little bit burnt out because of all of the stuff that I've been doing here on YouTube and so I just needed something quick and easy for a video, I guess. Um, and here's more planning for the art booth. Um, over here you see the stickers that I ended up selling. And then the rest of this was designing for um, the wood slice ornaments. And I do also have like an entire video about my first art booth experiences, so go check that out. At the time of filming this, I haven't filmed like the finance breakdown yet because it, there's just a lot to cover. Um, but that will be coming out soon. So on the left here I was planning on doing some Christmas song themed paintings. I never got to them. I did the sketch and everything and the sketch took me like three hours and I just I didn't like how it turned out and I ended up just scrapping the sketch and the idea. Maybe I'll do it next year. And then on the right here, I tried to draw Wednesday from the new Wednesday Netflix show. Doesn't really look like her, but it is what it is. I'm trying to get better at portraits and realism and stuff. On the bottom here, I drew some piranhas, and these little scribbles on the side are more designs um, that I'm thinking about using because I do want to make more stuff for future potential craft and art fairs. Um, and then this is also planning for the same art and craft and booth fairs or whatever. Um, coming up with the bead designs, bracelets, necklaces, rings, um, earrings, and all kinds of stuff. So this was going to be a video, but I really put no effort into the spread. So the video ended up being a page that comes in a little bit here, but yeah, I just... 
it didn't sit well with me putting this for a video, so I didn't. Um, I was trying to design a character, but I got bored of it real quick. And then these were the pricings that I used for both of the art booths. I had two this year. Um, it was my first art booth and my second ever art booth, so that was super fun. Um, more jewelry sketching ideas, I think. <laughs> Oh, these were the actual sketches that I did for the ju for the shrink plastic jewelry I made for the second art booth. Um, so you you were supposed to like draw something and then you were put the to put the plastic on top, and you um, traced it out. But the plastic would shrink, of course, because it's called shrink plastic, in the oven, and then it would become little charms. So the video that I was talking about where I did like really low effort stuff on um, this page, I ended up scrapping this and then a couple days later I came back and I did this spread for that video and this is the first and only Christmas art that I do in my sketchbook for the season I think. Getting to the end here, um, I was super proud of this painting. Um, I wanted to focus on color palette and composition and you know doing something that I don't normally do and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I want to turn this into like a print or a sticker when I do eventually set up an online shop. I do want to set one up next year but we'll see. And then this had a bunch of marker bleed through and I didn't feel like covering it up so I just drew a chicken. And then this is the last spread in my sketchbook that you guys probably would have seen in my last video. It's a, it's a bit of a chaotic one, but I wanted something that was good. Um, as you can see, I brought back the little siren character. Um, and the rest of it is just doodles. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and my stickers. So this is where I put all my stickers since I couldn't put them on the front cover. Um, I have stickers from Lil Star Nerd. And I have her business card. So I have the party frog and the ramen bowl. And from Spicy Mochi. Oh, this one's also from Lil Star Nerd, the dog up here. And then from the Etsy shop Spicy Mochi, I got, um, I think it's these two ducks, the one with the knife and the one with the rose, and then these were little bonus stickers, and I'm not sure where I got this one from. And yeah, that's it. So that's it for the sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed looking at my sketchbook. If you liked the stuff in my sketchbook, I would highly recommend going to watch videos on my channel, because a lot of what I do is stuff in my sketchbook. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if this video was entertaining or if you got inspired. And subscribe for more art videos because I do post art videos every week. Sometimes it's a couple times a week. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.